No one in this world can you trust. Not men, not women, not beasts. This you can trust. Hello and welcome to another episode of Binding Roll Reacts. Well, this is actually just episode number two because it's the second trailer for uh, Dungeons and Dragons Honor Amongst Thieves came out like three weeks ago. So we're a little behind the times, guys, but um, we thought we'd do a quick uh, reaction video. Uh, there, I I've heard there's a little more new uh, snippets of video in this trailer. Some of it's the from the previous trailer. But um, we'll see what we think. I'm just going to jump right into it. We're going to watch it all the way through, and then we'll have a little discussion. Uh, feel free to comment, guys, during the video, too. So if you think something's awesome, tell us. Uh, and here uh, we uh, go. Oh, I got a good feeling about this. Dungeons and Dragons is that classic hero's journey about a ragtag group of misfits where we have to fight dragons and evil wizards in order to save the world. Well, how do we pull that off? Uh, figure it out over a drink? Probably best. You need it's about finding your own hero within. And each character has their own version of that journey. Oh, my God. Oh, we got him now! What exactly that you bring to this? I'm a planner. I make plans. I will not be complicit in the illicit use of ill-gotten booty. Can someone else ride next to this guy? I think there's a wicked sense of humor through this, and that allows us to have as much fun with this as we can. I love how the paladin's like the, the like, boy scout. We can't do anything wrong. The nuances that Aren't each individual <laughs> actor brings <laughs> is what makes this film so great. This I give you now. Trusting that you'll protect it with your very life. I will. Hold this. I'm part of the ruthless band of thieves. But he's not as evil as the Red Wizard. Never put your trust in a con man. The Dungeons and Dragons world has amazing creatures. In this oh, I love the mimic. I did themselves. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a new shot of that bird person, and like all the ah. Oh. What's the what's the playable race that's the bird people? Yeah. It's a great adventure for characters that you're going to care about. We want to give them the movie that they've been hoping for. That's what I've been saying. Yeah, it's pretty badass. So, I just want to go to that f couple of shots. All right, here we go. Right here. Right here. So there's there's a Kurakaku. Eric Cockra. Eric, Co I can't remember so all close. these words. <laughs> Looks pretty freaking cool. And then the next shot is, I'm guessing, a half orc, or maybe a hobgoblin. Half orc. Uh, yeah, maybe a half orc. And then right after that is um, lizard or snake lizard. people. Snake people. Yeah. Uh, you want to? Oh, Alamia? Yes. There you go. The Awanti. The Awanti. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I think those That's are the. Something for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Thank you, Load, with all the your encyclopedic knowledge. Um, those are the big things I saw in this trailer. Do you guys did you catch anything else cool in this trailer? I mean, they had like the gelatinous cube. Yeah. Or what, yeah. Well, like and then it. there was like the manticore or something that was like chasing them. Oh, it's a dragon. There's the. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah go so, ahead and play this. Oh, the displacer beast. Right. Hold on. Yeah, wait for the, it. There it, it is. Oh, does yeah. it displace a bit? Okay. Yeah. And then jumping jumping into the gelatinous cube. That's yeah, pretty awesome. That Which is not a good idea in actual D&D. &D. <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually encountered one in my my playing, but that seems like a bad idea. Yeah, it's just... I mean, it's, it's 
it's, it's one of those you instantly yeah and, and it actually, eat all your uh, eat all your gear if you have like there, i think one of the races has like acid resistance or like you can give yourself acid resistance or acid immunity mm-hmm. and you you could you can just eat it like jello delicious <laughs> mm, tasty now, now i'm into it tasty um <laughs> No, like the uh the mimic, right? I mean, the mimic like is I love they they they're really hitting all the the D and D creature buttons, the like iconic creatures yeah. from D and D, the gelatinous cube, displacer beast, the mimic. Owlbear. I mean, the big question is if they're going to be a beholder. Is that going to? Be... I uh, I have to imagine they're going to be a beholder in here somewhere. I mean, classic, you know, Xanathar is like. Why? Why wouldn't he be in this? Right, it's right? such a good character. You know, my question is: are, is are they going to have a Tarask? That Let's that has a for their maybe sake. too big of an impact on the plot, right? The plot's in the just not revolves around the Tarask, right? Not necessarily. No. Uh, well, a flashback <laughs> of a of a fight with the Tarask. <laughs> I I mean I, I I don't know, but they they could they could figure out a way to work it in without making it about the Tarrasque. You know, maybe maybe they're they're wandering through a dungeon or something and they pass by a sleeping one. Yeah. You, know, they, you so, just have to show it. I definitely have some predictions about this movie. First off, yeah. I think with the recent popularity of D&D coming from most notably um, Stranger Things and Critical Role, being mm-hmm. like this, I think I think they're gonna have some small reference in the movie to Stranger Things. I don't know how. Probably the Demogorgon, because that's like the main thing from D and D they talk about, or Vecna, one of the two. Um, and I think they are gonna get the actors from Critical Role to have like a split second cameo as their characters from their D and D campaign. Oh, that'd be cool. That would I, be really fun. That's my prediction. Like they're gonna, the camera's gonna cut in a in a tavern or something to the critical role. Yeah, 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 yeah. Them, at, at, like built up, like you know, in makeup and everything, in costume as their characters from Critical Role, and then cut away for like a split second. That's my prediction. That'd be awesome. <laughs> and if maybe you were the folks from Critical Role and they asked you to do that, why would you not say yes? Yeah, they're already in so, Hollywood. They're already kind of in the movie slash entertainment industry. I don't see why this would not happen. That's my that's that's my my dark horse I think prediction. But um, uh, the other thing I was going to point out, they're really hitting the D and D tropes, which are great, like going back to the tavern to have a drink to talk about the quest, um, the party members that are all different, uh, the bard being the funny guy the 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 paladin being the boy scout i think like they're just they're they're hitting all the D D tropes yeah and i imagine what hugh grant's gonna betray them because he's like why why would you trust a con artist i mean like that's my thing <laughs> i was reading somewhere that he's gonna supposed to be like the head of like a, a thieves guild or something or something like that like some sort of they, they just they just mentioned that he's yeah he some said, yeah he, he literally said he was the head of the thieves guild <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 it's okay swamp swimmer i missed that too so don't worry i get all but these I things mixed the, up uh, the red wizard is the main antagonist yeah it's gotta yes. be and it can cast like it can summon a, a dragon <laughs> so then okay that's that's my question for you guys is this going to be a straightforward plot where the bad guy is the bad guy or is there going to be or some like huge? Is there going to be huge some twist at the end? What do you think? I mean, there's going to be a twist at the end, but I don't think it's going to be something in, to the effect of like who you thought was the bad guy was actually the good guy the whole time. Yeah, I think there's still going to be a bad guy, but they might just not be the BBEG. Not like yeah, a snake twist. <laughs> Or it's like an M. Night Shyamalan movie where it turns out they were playing around a table the whole time. (laughs) (laughs) No, it's just in someone's imagination. Is it going to be the twist where one of the uh, five party members is going to be the bad guy? It's the paladin. Never it's trust the paladin. paladin. It's, it's always the paladin. Paladin. I don't trust anybody who thinks they're that good. 
what if what if it's what if it's uh because you you can have evil paladins now yeah you can so and um if, if, if it's if it's an evil paladin what uh what do you got what same rules apply or is, you know, is it always the paladin or is it just uh what is that like oath of vengeance or i forgot it's in it's in it's not in the main rule book or any of the expansion books it's evil one it's in um is it in the monster manual it might be so there's yeah. there's the oath breaker the, i'm thinking of the oath breaker necessarily that isn't necessarily evil the idea is that it 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 used to be that if you were a paladin you served a good god but that good no god. longer has to be the case. good god you can, you can you can now be a paladin for a uh a not evil god. a not good god yes okay well um I'm gonna I'm gonna act ask for a pact from all three of you that we within let's say a week or two of this being released in theaters, we should all spend fifteen dollars and go see it, and then we can do a review of the movie when it comes out. Sure. I'll yeah. look for that. I Hell mean, I will try. <laughs> I I commit to nothing. I, I I don't go to the movies by myself, and if nobody else wants to go with me, then I might not be able to see it. Maybe we well, can. We'll, we'll get you a, like a we we'll get a cam like pirated on like a torrent. <laughs> like it for you. There you go. There you go. Um, I'll, t I'll I'll record it and I'll send it to you. Yeah, How about that? There, there you go. Just just announce that you're gonna pirate the movie here online. <laughs> Live on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, no one's watching. <laughs> <laughs> um and hell if if someone is watching um you know the four of us play D, D live play on this channel check it out we're relatively entertaining so um we'll see you next time next uh next reaction trailer will be our opinion of the movie and um see you next time guys see you